Hey everyone, Dr. Rossi here, Way Rock Naturopathic. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about NAD IV therapy or brain restoration. NAD IV therapy has been around for a very long time, uh, way back uh, to the 50s actually. Uh, preceded methadone uh, as one of the most uh, effective treatments for drug withdrawal at that time. When methadone came out, it kind of uh, stole the spotlight and uh, as a result went relatively into obscurity except for a few doctors who are using it. Uh, currently, NAD has uh, become uh, much more well-known and is uh, having a uh, regenesis in its uh, use as a uh, prominent drug withdrawal treatment uh, and a very effective one as, as well. Uh, of all the treatments that I know of, it, uh, along with Ibogaine, are the only two treatments that are effective in uh, essentially getting rid of withdrawal symptoms, which is the biggest hurdle that most people have coming off of a uh, dependency. And, uh, and NAD, in being legal uh, throughout the world and being a, a naturally occurring coenzyme, doesn't have the same concerns that Ibogaine, unfortunately, does, does have. Uh, and so I won't, I won't really get into those other factors with Ibogaine, but with uh, NAD IV therapy, uh, what you can expect with drug dependencies is that uh, the uh, symptoms are really minimized uh, depending on your history, depending on what you've been using, how much, and, uh, and uh, your overall health. Some people would have an absolute minimal uh, degree of side effects to uh, others who had a much longer history of being dependent on something who would experience some minor discomfort uh, which is uh, easily managed and, and treated. A uh, typical course of treatment would last uh, for the most part 10 days. Uh, some individuals would be uh, suffice in having less than that, perhaps five days if it's a, a short-term dependency or not a high dose. Everyone is different in terms of their sensitivity to NAD uh, treatments. And uh, what that means is that a typical uh, goal for a day would be about a gram uh, plus, depending on the time of uh, treatment. If it was at the very beginning, oftentimes one would try for a gram to one and a half grams of NAD, uh, uh, whereas later on their, their treatment, they would not require as much. Uh, now, NAD or nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide is used by every cell of your body for production of energy, uh, cellular energy. And so, while it's not really a stimulant, it is stimulating the body. And as a result, the IV is limited by how well your body is able to, to uptake that NAD and make use of it. It's used by every cell in your body, uh, cells in your liver, uh, cells in your brain. And so it does have certain physical uh, effects, uh, digestive uh, effects, as well as mental emotional benefits and, and effects. And, uh, and so the treatment overall is limited by how comfortably you can take that uh, NAD into your system. Uh, typical IV at the beginning uh, of that, let's say one gram, may for one individual be four hours, whereas for another eight hours. Uh, if it were to be too fast for a person, they would feel some discomfort. Uh, it's mild, and as soon as that IV were slowed down, they would no longer have that discomfort. Uh, those symptoms might include a headache or chills, uh, fever, uh, stomach aches, stomach cramps, nausea, uh, any of those symptoms, uh, ch chest tightness, uh, uh, all unpleasant but very quickly dissipated or improved as soon as the uh, drip rate were uh, slowed down. And so as long as a person is able to tolerate a, a reasonable dose within a reasonable period of time, uh, one can expect wonderful results in withdrawing from a substance, a very comfortable withdrawal and within a relatively short period of time. That's one benefit, but the other benefit is that the, the treatment is uh, really uh, improving your chances of staying off a substance because it is reestablishing or restoring your proper brain functioning. 
that relates to the sensitivity of your neuroreceptors uh, that the neurotransmitters are are stimulating and also your neurotransmitter levels uh, both of which are affected by the NAD therapy um, neuroreceptors are really important because whenever you're dependent on a substance your body tries to adapt it will become less sensitive to something and so your tolerance of that item would increase further affecting your imbalance of neurotransmitters further creating a dependency on that substance but at a higher dose in order to feel okay and so over time with a dependency one can further offset their overall balance NAD uh, you could say cleanses uh, the field and resets everything back to where it was initially before that dependency occurred. Uh, and so it's quite magical in, in that. Uh, other types of withdrawal, uh, medically su supervised withdrawals, rapid detox, are geared towards uh, stopping the dependency, stopping the usage of, of the or abusing uh, substance and uh, trying to suppress the symptoms as best as possible. In so doing, some people would develop a dependency on whatever was used in, in the rapid detox. Uh, and, and that can obviously have some complications and, and issues. Uh, and, and so NAD, in not requiring those items, uh, uh, certainly has uh, benefits. Uh, those are some of the primary things I want to share with you about NAD. Uh, for those of you interested in NAD therapy for other reasons, uh, and there are many other benefits to NAD, it, it is used for many neurodegenerative conditions, uh, Parkinson's, uh, uh, in fact, John Gray, a writer of uh, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, he uh, subscribes much of his uh, uh, Im uh, improvement or lack of symptoms from early onset Parkinson's to NAD therapy. Uh, so uh, Parkinson's and neurodegenerative conditions are certainly one area that uh, benefit from NAD therapy. Um, other uh, histories of anxiety, depression, chronic fatigue, um, uh, chronic Lyme disease, the, the chronic fatigue and, and brain fog that can develop um, with that. Uh, post-concussion syndrome, and other forms of uh, impeded cognition uh, or mental-emotional imbalances uh, can certainly benefit from that therapy to some extent, if not fully, to some extent. And so uh, we're very excited about this treatment here at the clinic. We've been using it for a number of years, uh, primarily for substance withdrawal in addictions uh, and, and more recently more in, in other areas as well uh, and it's it's overall had a very uh, very good benefit for our patients and uh, a wonderful response uh, and interest uh, so uh, if you're interested in learning more or uh, in uh, discussing whether NAD would be of some benefit uh, for yourself Please contact the office and um, we'll go from there.